Wreck located, sir. Diver going aboard. Wreck located, sir. Diver going aboard. Stand by to lower the charge. Break out the depth bomb. Aye, aye sir. Hurry up, will you, dribble puss? I got a date tonight in Manila. That's all the good it'll do you. Hey. What's the matter with the air? Doggin. Doggin, can you hear me? My airline's cut. Pick me up. Trouble on the bottom, sir. Jack! The airlines are shooting off, sir. I'm going over the side, Lieutenant. Cut in the second airline! feel? Terrible. Stay up on deck next time where you belong. Well, you... Shut up. Now just breathe deep. That's it. Breathe deep. I'm all right. I gotta be all right. I got too good a day tonight in Manila. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you to some swell dames, Jack. It's a bet. And if you can't make Manila, we'll bring the dames in here. <laughs> Yes, she did. Can't understand it. That dame's standing me up. And she's supposed to be crazy about you. You must have been killed or something. You know, that's what I like about you. Your modesty. The dame don't live that could toss you over. <laughs> she must have been killed. Hey, what day is this? Thursday. Well, what happened to Wednesday? Well, you spent it in the decompression tank, don't you remember? <laughs> well, no wonder I... Uh, fine time to tell a guy. Well, I'm not supposed to be your keeper. <laughs> Look at this dive, would you? I could have more fun in my own court-martial. Oh, stop crabbing, Romeo. Women ain't everything in life. They ain't, huh? Make me a better offer. Well, can't you think of nothing but dancing and women? I'll spot you the dancing, too. Hey, Bar, keep two beers. <laughs> kind of a dumb business. All he needs is a lily between his teeth. <laughs> See, I know where there are a lot of gals, Bob, but you gotta go get them. That's what I'm famous for, ain't I? How could you know? Well, I heard a couple of Marines talking about it. Wine, women, and song. A uh, guy named Martini. Yeah? Know him? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, now you're talking. How do I get there? Uh, where is his house? Straight up the street, the top of the hill. You can't miss it. Come on, Jack. Not me. I don't like party. Okay, Grandpa, you stay here. I'll be back in 15 minutes with a honey on each arm. What do you want, blonde or brunette? Uh, redhead, if you can find one. <laughs> 
That wise guy, pal of yours, is going to get an awful shock, sailor. That's what I figured. Now, you sent him to the swellest homestead in town. The guy that owns it is the sugar king of the island. I know it. He won't get within 50 yards of the I place. know this town from one end to the other. They'll take one gander at that mug of his and toss him down the hill on his nose. <laughs> this is one time the champion lady killer is going to get what's coming to him. <laughs> Say, he'll be back in 15 minutes. Well, he'll be back, but not that fast. The boy is tough. Say, you don't know those guys. Well, you don't know my pal. <laughs> Say, I tell you what I'll do. I'll buy you a beer for every minute over 15 he don't show up. You're on. Uh, maybe you better go looking for your pal, huh, sailor? He might have got hurt or something. Didn't I tell you he was tough? Maybe I better see what happened at that. And if he got hurt, you better sell out quick, because it'll be back and wreck your joint. You see, girls, there's quite a story connected with these. Now, in the Navy, every one of these stripes stands for promotion, due to bravery and quick thinking under fire. <laughs> you must have very much promotion. Easy, it's so. Easy, it's so. Well, I should say. Now, this one is commander, and this one is captain. Capitan. El Capitan. <laughs> wait a minute, girls. Wait a minute. Now, I've got the big treat for you. This one is admiral. Almirante. Yes. Admirante. Good, please. You have invitation? I never use them. So sorry, not allowed, please. Go away, go away, go away. Excuse, please, you must have an invitation, please. I'll tell you what you do. You see Admiral Mason up there? Will you tell him that his old pal, Chief Admiral Dorgan, is here to see him? Yes, sir. <laughs> if I could only talk Spanish. <laughs> Excuse, please. Your friend, Admiral Dorgan, outside. He says he likes you. I never heard of any Admiral Dorgan. Probably some imposter trying to crash the party. Better have him thrown out. So, Carlo de Aquí, senorita? Si. Oh, give it to him. <laughs> so sorry, please. Admiral Mason said, you big impossible. Uh, not oh, allowed. Oh, he did, huh? This way, please, please. Uh, oh, please. Oh. oh. Now, uh, bring a car, bring a car, bring a car. Bring a car, I don't care if you're going to Hey, what's the idea? Hey, I can tell he isn't an admiral by the way he fights. Well, well, well. Admiral Dorgan, I didn't know it was you. What are you doing here? I thought you didn't like parties. I ought to sock you right in the nose. Admiral, I want you to meet some very charming ladies. Uh, Admiral Dorgan, this is, uh, uh, what you say your name was? Guadalupe. Yeah, good Guadalupe. Guadalupe, Guadalupe, and Guadalupe. They have some fine refreshments lined up inside, Admiral. How about it? Well, thank you, Admiral. I'd like to very much. The women are charming. Why? Two beers. Two beers for me, too. Bright lights, sweet music, and beautiful dames. This is my stamping ground. Brother, you're going to start to live. Something I forgot to tell you about. Transferred to shore duty for two years. Doing what? Charge the new diving school. Did you apply for this? No, but it's what I want, all right. Yeah, what's the idea? Well, there's some things I've always wanted to do. This makes it perfect, Bob. Oh. And the first thing I want to do is get myself a home. A home? 
Say, the only home you'll ever know ashore is the inside of a bar room. You ain't kidding, fella. I was raised in a saloon in the waterfront. For years, I lived there like a rat. That's when I got this idea of mine about having a home. You'll make a swell citizen, you old sea cow, without having you on a peace bond inside of a week, unless... Unless what? Unless some little dame makes a fireside admiral out of you. Bah! <laughs> Up. Without me as guardian, you'll be a squaw man inside of a couple of months. Then do you know what's going to happen to that dough you've saved? Sure. I want to buy myself a house in San Diego and have a front yard and my name in the telephone book, too. Shh. You hear what I hear? No, what? The sound of goblin. What? Yeah. Some little cupid dog going, gobble, 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 gobbling all your dough, see? Yeah, well, that more than any game will get out of you. You've been broke for 12 years. Yeah, and I'm going to be broker when I sail out of this town. While you're buying that house, I'll be painting this bird red. Chief Walden's mate, Mason. Chief Walden's mate, Mason. Report to patrol oh, officer on dock. Maybe the Admiral's wife heard that you were in town watching for a spot of tea. That ain't impossible. <laughs> Chief Walden's mate, Mason, reporting to patrol officer. A letter for Mason. <laughs> what is it, a national? <laughs> what do you know about that? I'm getting a transfer, Jack. Submarine duty. Let me see. <laughs> well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Proceed immediately, orders. No travel time, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, what's funny about that? I was just thinking about all the broken hearts in this town. Two weeks shore leave, painting the town red with beautiful dames. <laughs> they can't do this to me. I ought to get a couple of days at least. You haven't even got time for a glass of beer. <laughs> How about this, sir? I, uh, I was booked for two weeks shore leave, and then this... Sorry, Chief. Submarines leave for Honolulu tonight. Well, I guess that cooks the red paint, the beautiful dolls. I know how you feel. Thank you, sir. But you don't. Well, take care of yourself, kid. You know, this is going to be a relief. Eight years of you is plenty. Seems like 18. So long, elephant. So long. Hey, you sure I can't do anything for you? You could take care of my telephone numbers if you knew how. Well, I might try. <laughs> Don't get in any jams. Remember, I'm not around to take care of you. Hey, seeing you. Come on, pal. Take a look, sailors. This is Jack Dorgan, champion diver of the world. He can go down further and stay down longer than any mug in this man's navy. He can stick a clothespin on his nose and work in 50 fathoms like with a bathtub. <laughs> I find them all fit. They're yours, Dorgan. Fellas, I'm proud of you. You're all divers now. There ain't nothing to this diving racket. Just a question of being able to wear a suit. Or a few other details, like being able to handle air drills and chipping hammers, running caulking irons, assemble valves, do pipe fitting and plumbing, and doing them at a depth of from 10 to 300 feet. There's nothing to it. So don't get discouraged, fellas. We'll start first thing tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock sharp. Full out. Well, goodbye, Dorgan. Good luck in your new assignment. Thank you, sir. That was a once-over quick, Jack. I had a reason for making it quick. Got a date? Yeah. Me and some guy I don't know yet is going to talk about a sweet little house. House? You sell houses? That's what we do. I have just sold one at 1418 Jefferson Street. Yeah. You want to buy it? That's what I said, and there's the dough. Uh, you want to pay cash for it? Hey, you didn't think I want to steal it, did you? Wish all my clients were like you. Be careful, Missouri is liable to get violent. Oh, don't pay attention to him. Come on, there's the dough. Give me the key. But uh, there are papers to sign. You know, buying a house isn't like buying I'll be a... in tomorrow morning and sign them. Come on, mister, I'm in a hurry. Give me the key. Yeah, hurry up, Napoleon. Joseph, ain't gonna wait much longer. Well, here she is. Ain't she a beaut? What are you gonna do with it? What do you think I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna live in it. Well, so long. I'll see you later. Oh, stick around, Red. Come on, have a look. Mr. 
matter with you? Raised in a barn? How do you like it? It's terrific. Come on. This is a little bit of all right. It's very pretty, sir. I'll take it. The whole works. Wrap her up. Pardon me, Mr. Dorgan. I wonder, might I make a suggestion? What's on your mind, Red? Of course, it's none of my business, but don't you think all of this is sort of a uh, kind of... Uh, if you know what I mean. Hey, this stuff ain't kind of frosty, is it? I wouldn't say so. I think you display excellent taste, Mr. Dorgan. There you are. I'm sorry. Forget all about it. Why don't you order some lace curtains and pink bedspreads to go with all this junk? Ah, uh, shut up, you crepe hanger. Here, send that out right away, will you? I'll be waiting. Thank you, Mr. Dorgan. Thank you very much, sir. Come on, Red. Where to now? Well, we go out the house, wait for the furniture to come. I got an idea. Let's ride out on the truck. Then we can sit on this Davenport and hold hands. Oh, you're trying to be funny, huh? Boy, you hand me a laugh. The toughest guy in the Navy blowing in all his dough on a house and garden. Don't forget your knitting, Grandma. Bye-bye. Testing 6228. Okay. Everything's all right, mister, and there's your book. Hey, wait a minute. My name in here. Just put your telephone in today. What do you mean, just? I signed up for it yesterday. Your name won't be in until the next book comes out. Well, when's that? Oh, around April. April? Well, you better watch out with your next one. I want my name in it. Somebody might want to ring me up. I don't run the company, mister. I just work there. This is Mr. Dorgan of 1418 Jefferson Street. Can you give me the right time? Oh, ST1212? Thank you, ma'am. Jenny, what time is it? Uh, ST1212. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'll hang up before I die. Thank you, ma'am. Howdy, neighbor. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you the music of Jimmy Smith and his orchestra, coming to you from the famous Danceland Ballroom. Drop in, folks. It's the hottest spot in town, with 50 beautiful dancing partners to dance your blues away. <laughs>
How about a little dance? Oh, thanks. How about you, sister? How about a little... I've been unlucky all day. Do you mind if I stand beside you for just a minute? There's a man over there and, well, you understand. Hey, who's bothering you, kid? Oh, no, 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 please. No trouble. It's all right now. Thank you very much. I say, oh, babe, by the way, where are you going? To try to get somebody to dance with me. The manager gets very angry if a girl stands and talks and doesn't dance. Well, how about me? Oh, I didn't mean... Oh, I don't dance very good, but... Oh, I'd like to. You have tickets? No, but I'll get them in a hurry. You stay right here. Give me 12 tickets, young man. I'm out for a good time. That a boy. Hello, Jack. How is it you're out so late? What about that house? Well, don't bother me now. I'll see you later. Yeah, I thought you'd get on to yourself. Room, hey, call your oh, shots. What's the matter with you mugs? Here we are. You French? No. I go from Imperial Valley. I'm American. I thought you were a French girl. No. My mother was Mexican. You like Mexican girls? I'll say I do. I've had some swell times in Mexico. With the senoritas? Oh, you got me wrong, sister. I ain't none of your Don Juan. Not a Don Juan. I don't believe it. Shot a rhyme. Yes, sir. What do you have? I don't drink. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Let's get out of here, can you? Well, uh... This ain't any place for you anyway. Let's go somewhere and eat. All right. You like chop suey? Do I like chop suey? But first, I must powder my nose. All right. I'll wait right here. Marsha? Yes, Miss Carmen. Give me a hooker of rye and make it snappy. Here you are, Miss Carmen. Not a big farm, just a little farm. You know, you don't talk like a girl raised in a farm, Carmen. You're, oh, I don't know how to put it, but you're different, see? Well, you see, when my father died, there was no money on account of the mortgage on the farm. So I left Imperial Valley and went to Hollywood to look for a job in the movies. But that was no good, so I came down here. How long have you been here? Only a week. I took a small room. But I was lonesome. And I needed work. And I heard the music. Do you know what it means to be without money? And lonesome? Yeah. How'd you get here from Imperial? Well, I... I wait for an automobile, which a woman is driving. Then I take a hitch. You take a hitch, huh? <laughs> if I'm lucky. <laughs> we'll close up now. Oh! Well, here we are. You know, it uh, seems kind of like a shame. What? Oh, I don't know. We meet, sort of say goodbye, and then we don't see each other no more. Oh. What I mean is, uh, well, I'm kind of lonesome, too. I'd like to see you again, Carmen. I would do, Jack. I go for that Jack stuff. 
How about tomorrow? All right, Jack. Been to the exposition? No. Let's go. And maybe Sunday we can go to the beach. Yes? Will we? Good night, Jack. Carmen. Uh, something else I wanted to ask you. What is it? How you get sore? You never can tell. Well, it's... Uh... That's what I wanted to ask you. Good night. Carmen. I like that. Hello, Jack. Hello. How do you like the car? Ain't you a pip? It's beautiful, Jack. Is it all yours? No, I only rented it for the day. I'm going to invest in one of these gifts. Look at the groceries. This is going to be a real picnic. Oh, Jack. You certainly are no piker. That's a lot of food. Don't let me forget that basket. I promised the guy I'd bring it back. Oh, hey, where's your bathing suit? <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, we're off. Look. I bust open if I eat any more. Oh, don't tell me you're going to pass up this beautiful cake. After I worked two hours over a hot stove. Jack, you're so silly. Carmen. Honey. All my life I hear that sailors are cruel. You are not cruel. Raining, blasted. Why the devil can't it rain on weekdays? Will you get in the car? I'll get the stuff. How do you like it? I'm crazy about it. Did you pick this out all by yourself? Mm -hmm. Yep. I can't believe it. Why, this is beautiful furniture, Jack. It's so modernistic. Is it? And I walked in and picked it out just like that. <laughs> Wonderful. Come on, I want to show you this. Oh, and the radio. <laughs> it works too. Come on. How's that? What a wonderful kitchen. Look at that stove. <laughs> and the ice box. Oh. Can you cook, Carmen? Can I cook? I'm the best darn cook in all Imperial Valley. All my life I keep house for my poor father. Until he... What's in that room? That's my boudoir. You men. You don't know how to take care of a house. You ruin it. to live together after God's ordained law in the holiest state of matrimony, to love, comfort, honor, and cherish one another in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, remaining faithful as long as you both shall live. Success and happiness and good luck to both of you. Well, thanks a lot, Reverend. We can't miss. I'm sure you'll be very happy. Happiest man in the world, Reverend.
Yeah, you look very, very prosperous. Doing all right. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Gosh, I almost forgot, Reverend. Here. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You'll spoil everything. <laughs> We've got to do this thing right. Jack! <laughs> <laughs> I think, baby, I'm a little scared of you. Me? Why? Because you're so strong. Knock, knock. Hi, Red. Come in. Uh, Carmen, this is Red Anderson. Red, this is Carmen. I mean, she's my wife. We just got married, see? Married? Mm-hmm. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dorgan. Hello. Congrats, Jack. That's swell. I, uh... uh... We just got back from the minister, see? That cigar? Thanks. I might as well take it before I do my duty. What's this? A message from Commander Norton. Does the old man know I'm on my honeymoon? What's the matter, Jack? It says I gotta report back to base right away. What's the idea, anyway? The Triton. She's a ground off of Point Fletcher. She's a terrible mess. But they can't send you away now. This is our wedding day. You're right. I ain't going. Let him get somebody else. That's the way to talk, Jack. Be a man. You expect me to tell that to the old man? Oh, boy. Oh, what's the use? I gotta go. Oh, no, you're not. Tell him you're on your honeymoon, anything. No, honey, but when you're in the Navy... Listen. You tell them no. And if they don't like it, you quit. Ha, ha, ha. You can't do that, honey. Well, I don't like it any better than you do, but... They're waiting for you, Jack. Oh, somebody else could do it just as well. And I met you someplace before, Mrs. Dorgan? All set, Jack? Yeah. Goodbye, Mrs. Dorgan. Jack. How long will you be gone? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a week, maybe more. With the sweetest little wife in the world waiting for me, I won't be any longer than I can help. Bye, baby. Chin up. Sailor, where can I locate Jack Dorgan? Mr. Dorgan ain't with us for the moment, Mr. Mason. Dutch! <laughs> I didn't recognize you. Hi, a dynamite. Great. Say, what happened to Jack? Well, he's doing temporary sea duty. Wreck off a of point, Fletcher. Oh, that's tough. First time I've been in port in six months. I figured on us having a time together. So long, Romeo. Hey, take it easy on the town. In the words of Captain John Paul Jones, I only just begun to fight. Valley, 
and came here. I used to travel around down in Imperial Valley. Hello, honey. What do you know about that? What are you doing here? Gee, you're looking swell. It's certainly nice to see you. Say, I got a lot to talk over with you. Excuse us, will you, fellow? You don't mind if we have a little dance and a talk? We ain't seen each other for two years, have we, babe? <laughs> Come on. Thanks, pal. Okay, sister. I figured I was doing you a favor. You hate yourself, no? No. What'd you say your name was? Give me a slug of rye. Yes, sir. What do you have? Oh, I don't drink. Oh, don't give me that. She'll take the same. Yes. Why to stay here? Know something better? Sure. You like chop suey? I'm a slave of love, honey. Anything you say. When my father died, there was no money. On account of the mortgage on the farm. So I left Imperial Valley and went to Hollywood to look for a job in the movies. But that was no good. So I came down here. I'm staying with my cousins here until I get a job. Baby, you got a job. <laughs> Okay, bring me the check. We're going. Keep the change. Thank you. Come on, baby. You know, that was a pretty sad story you just told me. I think I'll go home and have a good cry. <laughs> Sometime I'd like to tell you the story of my life. Which way? Well, you don't have to take me home. Oh, I don't mind. See you tomorrow? Sure, but I kind of hate to say goodnight. Do you? Why? Seems kind of silly. Besides, I'm not used to it. How about a little nightcap? Say, what did you say your name was? I hate you. Carmen. Oh, yes. Yeah. What are we going to do tomorrow, Carmen? Been to the exposition? That's an idea. I'll meet you at the main gate at 10 o'clock. And maybe Sunday we can go to the beach. Yes? Yeah. Still hate me? I could kill you. Maybe I'll give you a chance to. Good night. Now. Bobby. Hmm? Look what I've cooked for you. Oh, thanks. Look what you do. I cook for you and you throw it away. Too much mustard, honey. Come here. You love me, Bobby? Sure, I love you. You do not. I'm mad about you. Honest, Bobby. Then why can't we be together, always, like this? Can't be done, sweetheart. I'm a sailor. You heard about sailors, ain't you? Yes. Pretty soon you'll go away, and I'll never see you again. I ain't walked out on you yet, have I? A week. What's a week? It ain't bad for a sailor. I hate you. You'll get over it. Where are you going? Home. <laughs> oh, no, you're oh, not. Oh, yes, I am. No, you're oh, not. Yes. You're going swimming. Oh, oh. That's what you think. Oh, Let me go, Bobby. <laughs> no, Bobby. <laughs> Stop it all. Oh. I'll fix you. <laughs> 
get you Serves yet. Serves you right. Wait a minute. Oh, Bobby, stop Here it. Here we go. Stop it, Here Bobby. Oh, you will, will you? Stop you want to get the are you? I'm my glad. Now you're going to get it. I'm going to toss you right in the drink. It's a log. Bob! <laughs> I might have known. Well, where'd you come from? Ah, you devil puss. Well, I thought I got you out of my hair for a year. What brought you back? You. I figured you was in some kind of a jam by now, sucker. It seems that I just can't get rid of you. Been here long? A week? On leave? Yeah, but it's up. We're putting out tonight for Manovas. Come on. Where are we going? Don't ask no questions. Come on. Pretty, ain't it? Flowers and everything? <laughs> it's swell, Jack. Must have cost a pile of dough. Yeah, but it's worth it. Oh, swell neighborhood around here. Two doors down, there's a guy who works in a bank. No. I got a telephone, too. You're kidding. <laughs> hey, the chickens get in and scratch up the flowers. OK, boy? It's a pip, Jack. Modernistic. No kidding. Yeah. Sit down, make yourself at home. Honey. Hello, baby. Jack! Oh, am I glad to see you, sweetheart. Oh, come on. We got company. Come and meet my old pal, Bob Mason. Bob, this is my wife. He just got back from China, honey. Oh, he's a mug, but he's the squarest guy that ever stood on a ship's deck. Jack. If you'll excuse oh, me. Oh, why, you look all right, Carmen. Don't worry. Hey, listen. I haven't broken out in months. This calls for a little celebration. I'm going out and mix up a couple. I haven't got time, Jack. I'm sailing at seven, you know, and I got a lot of Hey, things. you want to suck in the jaw, don't you? Why, it's only four o'clock. You got time for a snort. Don't give me no arguments. Bobby. Above all the dirty, cheap little... Bobby, you want that? Get away from me. But I didn't know. How could I know? Take your hands off me. Bobby, Bobby, you said you loved me. You can't do this to me. You can't. Leave me alone. Let me go. dame you meet, even my own wife. Okay, pal. Come 
return aboard, sir. Very well. Have a good time ashore. Wonderful, sir. Report my return aboard, sir. Very well. Chief, have a nice time ashore? Sure. Yeah, it's sore, are you, Commander? You got the misery, Chief, or did you just hate to leave her? Better luck in Panama, Admiral. Right down, you guys. Secure your bunks and check your stations. We're getting underway. Don't you ever think of nothing but work? Say, Chief, I hope you got my trouble. I had to leave my girl just as we was going to get married. We're going to be tied for sure next trip. Nice going, Jones. Marriage is a wonderful institution. Coronado Deeps. Not so good, sir. Ready all ships in the battle force. Urgent to submarines. Aye, sir. To all ships. Urgent to submarines. Get 
Lungs, men. Yeah, Jonesy, I hope you're with this lung. That's can't be open from the inside, sir. Whatever we came up on, there must have bashed in the conning tower and jammed the slower hatch. Well, that settles us. I said plenty. Easy, Mason. Pipe down, both of you. Yes, sir. us at this depth. Maria Diver Living can do it. One guy can do it. Jack Tall. Ah. Uh, he worked at 307 feet in Pearl Harbor, didn't he? He can get down here and he will too. You wait and see. <laughs> What's funny about it? The whole thing is funny. 
very funny. <laughs> Even if a diver did get down this far, how could he get us out? He could give us air through the salvage air connection. Keep us going until they could lower the escape bell. We'll get out of it, all right. That sounds great, sir. Oh, come on, sidecar. We just snap out of it. Who's got the dice? Let's have a little game. Air. I can't breathe. Give me some air. Give me a seven. Seven right. Open up. Wait a minute, boys. There's still good air in here. No, I mean, it's rotten. We should have saved some of that good air we shot out through the hole in the ship. Yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. There you are. There's something your belly aching. We can keep doing that for a week. Mason's right, Ben. Let's all keep our heads about us and we'll have dinner ashore tomorrow night. Aye, aye, sir. Shoot 35 cents. All about that big Navy disaster. That's the special X-ray. Hey, submarine crash is doing maneuvers. That's the special X-ray. Read all about it. Hey, submarine crash is doing maneuvers. Hey, Mr. Yes. Thank you, Tom. Hey, special X-ray. Yes, yes. Hey, extra. All about that big Navy disaster. Hey, Additional news about the submarine M9 wrecked early this morning off the Pacific coast. The mothership Newport, the destroyer Iroquois, and the rescue ship Mermaid, first to arrive at the scene of the disaster, are picking up many survivors who escaped through the hatches. Diving operations have started in an attempt to get air to those trapped in the submarine who may still be alive, but so far have proven unsuccessful. Get another station. The treacherous currents and cross currents of the locale the virtual impossibility of divers operating or even remaining conscious at such a great depth leaves little hope for the remainder of the crew. That's for me, I'm not here. You don't know where I am, understand? Hello? Yes? He hasn't come back. No, I don't know. He didn't say. All right. I'll tell him. Goodbye. They say I've got to find you. Radio San Diego again. Tell them they must find Dorgan. Aye, aye, sir. Notify all radio stations to broadcast an emergency call for Jack Dorgan. Report at the Navy Yard immediately. Emergency call for Dorgan. Get Dorgan. Emergency call for Jack Dorgan? Yes, sir. We broadcast every 15 minutes. A large number of survivors of the ill-fated submarine M9 are now being brought to the naval base, having managed to escape the doomed ship before she plunged to the bottom. They were picked up by vessels responding to the submarine's SOS. Stop it! Just how many were trapped Stop has it, not I yet been definitely established. Those persons having stand. no relations or friends among the crew of the M9 are urged not to add to the crowds now at the naval base. This is station K F. Where are you going? San Diego. So I don't have One to moment, listen. Please. Stand by, please, for an emergency announcement. The Navy Yard is calling for Jack Dorgan. Jack Dorgan. He is needed to assist in getting to the crew of the submarine M9. Jack Dorgan. Report at once. The Navy Yard is calling for Jack Dorgan. 
Anyone knowing his whereabouts is requested to inform the Navy Yard at... Oh, Mason. I'm sorry, there's nothing yet. Ivor Henderson at 250 feet does not answer signals. Hey, Henderson, up! Private Jones, stand by! What is it, Commander? Ribs caved in. Pressing in on me. Take over. Oxygen nearly gone. Dole it up carefully. Aye, I see. at the dock, watching them come in. Why? You didn't see anything of Bob Mason down there, did you? I don't know what you mean. You don't, huh? I suppose you're worried about the rest of them guys. Yes. Yes, I am. If you'd seen what I saw at the dock, people were waiting. And you were waiting, too. All right, I was. I was waiting for him. I knew Bob Mason a week before you brought him here. What? You thought he tried to kiss me. He wanted to tell you about me. How did you meet Mason? The same way I met you, in the dance hall. You're a liar. I picked him up the night you left. He didn't know who I was, and I didn't care who he was. You rotten little... Yes, I'm rotten. What about you? What about those men of the submarine you could save? You, you coward, you fool. I can't stand you. I never could stand you. Emergency landing sidecar. Light! Give me light! Light! Shut up! Here comes Dargan now, sir. Where have you been, Dorgan? We've been looking all over for you. Well, I'm here, ain't I? Report to the salvage officer. Yes, sir. On the dock. On the dock. Dorgan reporting. Stand by with launch. Yeah, it's 
Hey, uh, you got it all now. From now on, you're going on your nerve. Pick out that motor bolt. Aye, aye, sir. Jack Dorgan, coming aboard, sir. Dorgan, coming aboard. in that bulkhead door. You might as well drown and suffocate. Give me a hand. Give me some light over here, sidecar. Come on, come on. Do I get a helmet or do I do this guy with a tea kettle over my head? Sorry, kid, I had to do it. Hurt bad, Riley? No. You can't hurt an Irishman's head on the hot iron. Door gun at 230 feet, sir! On the bottom, sir. Back located. Back located, sir! Signal answered. Send down airline. Signal answered. Send down airline. Jack, it's Bob! Bob! <laughs> nice of you to call, fella! <laughs>
Get escape bell ready. Get escape bell ready! Well, Skipper was right. He sent me that dinner on shore tonight. <laughs> Hey, what's the idea? Just killing time. We gotta wait for the bell to come down. for a job in the movies. But that was no good, so I came down here. It's a sad story, sister. What do we do now? Do you like chop suey? Sure. The sons of the prophet are brave men and bold and quite unaccustomed to fear. Bill, Frank, Charlie, Joe, Tom, turn around. The other way. Keep right on going, Gus. Yeah, but there are women in that direction. There are women in every direction. But the bravest yes, by far in the ranks of the Shah was Abdullah Bobo. 